Hey guys, it's Josh here with designtutorials.com. And today I'm going to show you how to do uh, get your website XML sitemap on Google and also on Bing. That way you can set up a bunch of random sites so you can see what's happening with them. And then to do that, we're going to require this module, it's XML sitemap. You can come to this URL to get it. Then we're also going to show you how to get your site on uh, Google Analytics. You can get multiple sites on Google Analytics as well. Um, and to do that, we're going to need a module called uh, Google Analytics. You can come to this uh, URL to get it. So let me X out all of these and let's get started by going to google.com. So I got to log out and we're going to make a new account. So I'm going to set up a, someone's website on here. So we go to add account and then create, new, create an account. So let me make an account and I'll come back. Alright, so once you have all the information added, you go to the next step. And then uh, create your profile. And uh, you can get started. It doesn't really matter. And that's uh, and that's our profile. But you can come through and edit it and make uh, whatever you want to it. But now we want to come to our actual uh, webmaster tools. So I have it in a saved link. But if you come to Google, you search webmaster. Webmaster Tools should be the top link. So now you're going to log in with your uh, email. And once you're logged in, now we have this coming up. I should remember it. And now you want to add a site. So we're going to add the uh, the site. And with that added, you want to say Add Site. And now you want to verify the site. So to verify the site, you want to get this file and you want to put it in your control panel or your file manager, wherever your site's located. So I'm just going to download it. And with that downloaded, we need to come to our actual control panel uh, that's hosting our website. This one's going through HostGator. So you come here, go to your file manager or wherever your Google located. And you want to put that uh, file just in the root of the site. So I'm going to upload it right here. This is where my site's located. And it's that one, the Google one. And now when you come back to here, you can say verify. And we'll, there you go. Now we continue. And now you want to add a sitemap to this website. So you can come down here to uh, crawl and sitemap. This is where you add a sitemap. So, on our website, now you want to get that XML sitemap module. Which is way down here. And you can turn on whichever ones you want. I just have the one for the node, the menu, uh, the engines, and obviously the default. So then when you come to your configuration, oh, where is it? at the very bottom, you can see that um, here's where your sitemap file is located. You can come and uh, play with these. It's not very hard to figure out. You just say rebuild links and stuff. So I'm going to copy that link. And over here, I'm going to say add sitemap. Oh, it's already got all the... Uh, stuff before. So let me get rid of my Gumby Charters part. And that slash. Let me say submit sitemap. So refresh the page. And that's how easy <clears throat> and that's how easy it is to submit your sitemap to uh, Google Webmaster Tools. So there's our first and say so you want to add another site you just go through the same process. But now let's go to um, Google Analytics. Let's get our site on uh, there too. So you just type analytics and it should be the first one that comes up in a Google search. And you want to have, I don't know, maybe access Google Analytics, I'm not sure. So you got to sign up. So 
once you get all that filled in, you now come down here and say get tracking ID. Um, I'll wait a sec, sir. So now your website's kind of on uh, Google Analytics. And from here, you need to make sure you have that module installed. And then you just need this code. So on your website, come back to uh, your modules and install the Google Analytics one I showed you in the beginning. So that comes right here. You can enable it and then uh, configure it from here, or you can actually configure it from your uh, configuration. And then you just got to add this ID, the one that we just copied right there. And then when you save it, your website's all ready and up and running on Google Analytics. There shouldn't be any data because it's not a. Uh, I don't really collect any data, but the add sites to your uh, thing, you just add them right here. Uh, add a new property, and you can add a new website if you wanted. So I can't see my website. Oh, that's why reporting or home. So now, whenever you come to your actual home, your website would uh, show what the actual um, tracking and stuff has been happening with your website. Alright guys, so I'm moving up a new tab and we're going to go to uh, to Bing and just search our webmaster tools or you can google and search Bing webmaster tools and I'll bring it to you. So I'm going to sign in. I don't understand why making a new account is so difficult for here. So I don't really know. So I'm going to pretend to sign in. So with that, I'm going to say sign in. And it's obviously not going to work, but I don't know why you have to do that to actually get the new account right here to show up. Pretty stupid. So I'm going to make a new account real quick. Alright, so with all that created, now we can uh, go on to create account. Now we can sign into our actual webmaster tools. And we don't have a site here, obviously, but it's really easy to add site. So let me put all this in here real quick. All right. So with all that entered, we need our uh, site map URL. So I'm gonna come back to the uh, the website. I'm gonna go to configuration and go to the site map little section. I'm just gonna copy this URL. I don't know how it entered it on Bing. Yeah, so we enter the whole thing, and now we're gonna save it. And that's pretty much all you have to do, except for this is kind of a pain in the ass to figure out. You can add this meta tag, or you can uh, make a, a C name. It's even easier if you're using somewhere like Hostgator. I mean, uh, GoDaddy, you can just verify it through GoDaddy, and just click that one right there. So HostGator does not have one, and that's what we're using. I don't, know, I don't know why they're the only one that's not. But to do that, it's really easy, too, from HostGator. You, just need, you need this right here. So yeah, you just need this top part. So you need to come to the control panel that your uh, site's being hosted at. And you want to find your DNS server, which is a simple zones of one I usually go to for HostGator. Then you want to add a uh, C name right here. So we'll paste that in there, and it likes it. Then you have to just have it go to uh, verify or dot bing dot com. So we're going to paste that in there, and it likes it. So we're going to create a C name. And that's how you add that for Bing. And that should verify your site in a little bit. But let's try to verify it right now. Yeah, 
Yeah, so there, the site's verified. So it's all pretty easy to do, and I hope that was helpful with you guys. See you later.